What's going on guys? Welcome to the first part of OU Suspect Laddering on Pokemon Showdown and we're basically going to be starting from the bottom of the ladder. I've only done a couple matches so I didn't really put too much effort into this team. Just nice standard uh, Charizard Y team. Uh, I went for an ad uh, modest nature just to break Stallbreaker Talonflame because I already ran into somebody who copied Telly's gay ass stall team but Charizard Y of Ancient Power just completely rips through it. And so... Naturally, Specs Keldeo pairs really well with Charizard. Uh, Icy Wind to lure in. Icy Wind to beat Lottie's, or at least Latios, uh, lure it in. Hit it with Icy Wind. And then uh, lead lead guard chop with rocks. It's pretty cool. Uh, I went with Toxic just to uh, cripple stuff like Slowbro and Hippowdon that are common switch ins to guard chomp. And also kind of a nuisance to Keldeo and Zard. And then uh, Slowbro just kind of the glue. I figured two things were going to be on the rise on this in this suspect meta with Mega Metagross gone, and that would be uh, Fairy Spam and Bird Spam. So Charizard naturally takes care of uh, Fairy Spam because you know it's a Fire type and a really powerful one at that. I also have Excadrill for that. And then the other thing was Bird Spam. So Slowbro is my first check to stuff like SD Talon. Uh, Thunder Wave is really nice. It's pretty much standard set. Grass Knot just so Gyarados can't set up on me. And um, if it has Crunch, then Keldeo walls it anyway. Uh, Scarf Titar is my Pursuit Trapper. Pursuit Traps Lotties, which these two greatly appreciate. And also, I don't have a lot of switches to Gengar, so this thing gets rid of that. And uh, last one is my Spinner, which is Excadrill. Pairs pretty well with Titar just because um, Sand Rush. Um, I was considering just running Mold Breaker because I do kind of have a Rotom, Wa Rotom Wash problem. But, I could just run Rock Slide here then. Because, I mean, Veritorn's taken a lot from Adamant Life Orb Earthquake anyway. Yeah, I was running Swords Dance just so, uh, just to break down physical walls, but... There's, there's just a few situations where Sand Rush and Rock Slide would have come more in handy, especially on the lower ladder, so... Yeah, we're just gonna get a battle here with this team. So we got one right away against Ed C. Uh, let's see what he's got. He's got Azumarill, he's got Rotom Wash, Excadrill. So he's got a nice sand offense here. Um, leading Charizard wouldn't be too bad, but I also kind of will lead Keldeo because I can start getting damage on. Really, I get damage on anything if I lead Keldeo. So he leads Rotom Wash. I can just go for Secret Sword, start getting damage on this, which will be really crucial for the rest of my team, which is kind, just kind of gets annoyed by it. So I do a a huge chunk of that. He also, oh, he gets a crit with Volt Switch. That's really unfortunate. Especially because I have no way to heal this Keldeo, and this is my check to Tyranitar. Then again, I also have an Exodro here to take care of that. Um, unfortunately, I'm not Jolly, so I'm not going to be able to outspeed his own Exodro. As he goes in the Thunderous, that's fine. I can probably just Pursuit Trap this, to be honest. Uh, he's... Yeah, no, he's going for Thunderbolt, so I'm just going to switch uh, straight into my Excadrill. Now that his... Okay, he goes for his Volt Switch, that's great. His Rotom is weakened, so he can't really switch it on me. And I can just go for... I can just fire off a Rock Slide. Uh, he could have Focus Blast, but... I kind of doubt it. If he has Volt Switch, he probably doesn't have Focus Blast. And I just get damage on anything at this point. And, I mean... Mole Breaker isn't really that needed anymore because like Iron Head hits stuff like Azumarill and that did a lot. If Rock Slide did that much, I can just go for Iron Head and knock this thing out. Yeah, stuff like Gengar and Latios already get hit by Iron Head, so... Alright, so that's another threat gone, so that's really huge for me. So here you might want to switch uh, Rotom Wash back in. I think he can take a hit. A hit. So he goes into Gengar. Um... He's definitely just going to go for Focus Blast here. The thing is, like, I don't know what to sack. Should I sack Keldeo? Yeah, I think uh, Keldeo sack is probably my best play, because it's, like it's not like I can switch into T-Tar. Uh, so he's Will-O-Wiz, so that's really crucial to know. And I'm just going to go for Scout. It's my best play, in case he's slower than me for some reason. And then from here, I can just Pursue Trap him with uh, Tyranitar. So this is like the Stallbreaker set, I guess. Now that I'm thinking about it though, like nothing on his team really takes a crunch well except for his own T-Tar, which uh, Garchomp's a pretty decent switch into. 
I'm gonna start the timer on him. Looking at my team, uh, yeah, Thunderous is kind of a problem, so it's another reason why, uh, wait, I'm faster than him. <laughs> like I said, low ladder, so that's whatever, so I'm gonna Pursuit Trap this. It's a pretty big threat. And so, yeah, now uh, Charizard can tear through his team pretty much, except for his own T-Tar, which, you know, I have... I have switch ins too. So that's fine. So he goes in his own T-Tar, which is fine. I can just go into my Chomp. He might just want to set up Stealth Rocks here, which is I which is fine, I guess. I can set up my own rocks, uh, keep his Rotom from doing too much damage to me. So he's actually mega T-Tar and he goes for the uh for the uh, Dragon Dance. That's fine though, because I do have Exo in the Exo Drill in the back. And if he wants the DD again, I just two hit KO him with Earthquake. Because I do have Focus Ash, so even though even if he does have like Ice Punch or something, it's not even a problem. And I also have Rough Skin, so that's fine. So that's gonna do a ton of damage, and yeah, like I said, I still got a couple turns of Sand. I'm just gonna go for Rocks here, just in case he doesn't. Okay, just goes for another. So I have another turn of Sand. I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head. Uh, if he wants to switch in Rotom, get damage on that. Not gonna risk the miss with Rock Slide when this monster is staring me down. And also if he wants to switch in Thunderous for some reason, then that'll be nice. Because honestly, after this thing is gone, um, Charizard wrecks his team. And so does Tyranitar. I do want to preserve Exodrill though because uh, Thunderous can't really touch it. If he wants to go into Rotom here, if he... Hmm, I kind of want to calc, uh, eh, I'll just go for Rock Slide. As he's faster than me. So he's probably like a Scarf thing, so, uh, I'll get rid of that early. He's not going to be able to knock me out in one hit with Hydro Pump, and I can just keep going for Crunch. And it, I have a uh, Slowbro for Excadrill, so I'm not really too concerned about that. So I'm just gonna go to Exodrill now. Uh, again, not concerning because oh, he's on an air balloon. Because <laughs> I can just switch in Slowbro for free. Uh, Volt Switch is kind of he just goes for Stealth Rock. Okay, that's fine. As I can just go for the Slack Off. I mean, not not Slack Off the uh, Scald on Thunderous. Now it's kind of a mind game because if he goes for Volt Switch back into Exodrill, that can be problematic. I might just end up having to sack uh, as he goes for Rock Slide. What? He gets the flinch too. God. Bad players, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sack Charizard because honestly, it doesn't really do a whole lot. So I get the Scald off on Thunderous. I get the burn, which is really fortunate for me. And I kind of just want to sack Charizard because it does nothing to my opponent's team. And I need Slowbro for Excadrill. So as soon as the Thunders is gone, I just went with Slowbro. So that's fine. Uh, so he goes for Thunderbolt as I thought. So now I just Pursuit Trap this and that's going to be game. So, GG. I don't think I played that as well as I could have, but in the end, like it doesn't matter. It's just a result of, you know, good team building. So, unless this Excadrill wants to like SD on me or something, which I'm not, I don't really want to risk. Wait, so he's Rock Slide? Well, if he has Rock Slide, he probably doesn't have SD actually. So it's in his favor to just Earthquake here, as he does. And he's not Life Orb either, so he's not really going to do, be doing a whole lot to my Slow Bro. I'm going to slack off just in case, just to kind of gauge what kind of damage he's doing. So he goes for Rock Slide, like a bad player. He's you're like, dude, you're not gonna flinch me to death. I'm a slow bro. <laughs> uh, that's just a clean to a KO. If he like starts flinching me, but yeah, he's not life orb. He has to get me to like under 40% to KO with the uh, earthquake. So he does flinch me. I guess I'm gonna have to force. I'm just gonna go for slack off. I'm not gonna risk anything against this <laughs> terrible player. Uh. If he had SD, then I would have been in a little bit more trouble, to be honest. But he's not. 
So that's gonna be uh, the first game. Gonna get another one. And like, this is a series where you can expect to see me using multiple teams. Uh, as what is this? Another team that Charizard Y just comes through in. Like I honestly doesn't I don't lose anything by just leading out leading off of it. I could also lead Exedro. Oh, Mold Breaker would have been nice here because Bronzong. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna lead Charizard. I don't lose anything by it. So he leads Clef, that's fantastic. I can just go for the flamethrower here. Because this thing can't really do anything to me. Uh, worst case scenario, he goes into Tentacruel, which I have. I can just switch into Garchomp for free. Set up the rocks. I could just switch to Garchomp. I can just go to Garchomp here, actually. And get free rocks on him. Bronzong is kind of a problem. He has Slow King, which... It's not really a switch in because I can go for Solar Beam, and this thing, in turn, can't do anything. Getting rid of this is going to be really cool for my, uh, Keldeo. As he goes into... Oh, he's, he's making plays out here. I should have predicted that I'm just going for a flamethrower. That was that was terrible on my part, and I didn't think of that. He totally baited me into Solar Beam. Uh, Solar Beam, I mean, Blizzard doesn't actually do that much, so I'm just gonna go for the Roost, expecting a slow slow king to want to come back in. Yeah, Charizard has good. I thought this was gonna be like the SD Ice Shard set from RU, so yeah, it just goes back into Slow King, which is gonna be at full now because of the Regenerator. Uh, I'm just gonna. I kind of just want to go into Garchomp and go for the... If he gets a Skull Burn, that, that does a lot. Oh, it's a crit. It's a crit and a burn. Like, he'll... Can't do this to me. So I just, I'm just i just going to go for the Stealth Rock. It's really unfortunate he burned me because this was going to be crucial for Tentacruel. But I do have Excadrill in the back. That's unfortunate. Like, if he hadn't gotten either of those things, I could have at least gotten a Toxic on him. So he goes for the Trick Room. What? Uh, I want to save this just to surprise something with Toxic. Like, mostly this thing. This thing needs to go. <laughs> it can't do anything to slow, bro, so I'm just going to switch into that. Go for go for T-Wave, actually. Especially, like, if he wants to bring in uh, Obama Snow. Uh, T wave will be nice just for the uh, just for the hacks basically. As he goes in the tenor crew, that's amazing because I get a paralysis off on that, and from there I can just go into my. I'm just going to drill to be honest. If I get the hacks right here, that's gonna be pretty great. And I do get the hacks, so now it's dangerous for him to stay in. He might just go Gliscor to be honest. So I want to catch that on the switch and just go for Iron Head. If he's a bad player, he'll stay in and go for Skull, which... <sighs> As he does go Gliscor, so that's amazing for me. As I get off a huge amount of damage. And there's no way he's going for... There's no way he's not going for Protect, so I can just go back into Zard here. And fire off yet another Flamethrower. And I don't even think this thing has anything to hit me with, so... I am going to be wary of going for Flamethrower the next time. If he goes into Slow King, I'm just going to switch out into Tyranitar. If he gets another Scald Burn, that's going to be unfortunate, though. Yeah, there's no way he's not just going for Protect if he has it, so. As he pulls the double into Bronzong, okay. That's great, because I just get free uh, free Flamethrower damage once again. It's a really interesting team. But he just chooses to sag Bronzong. Maybe it was Poison? Wait, maybe it was... um. <laughs> Maybe he thought uh, heat proof would live, but I'm actually modest and it's in the sun. So. <laughs> so he goes back into back into this. I kind of want to sack. This is a pretty much a. Actually, no. I'm not going to sack Garchomp because I can set up rocks again. Yeah, I'm just going to go back into Exodrill to be honest because. So he gets the rapid spin off, that's fine. I'm gonna go for EQ because I don't think he wants to switch into Gliscor again because I can knock it over with Iron Head at this point. And if, even if he does want to switch back into Gliscor, as he does, that's that's AIDS, honestly. I'm gonna go for Iron Head, I don't care. Fuck this thing. This thing's really annoying. And like, this Tentacruel's paralyzed, it's not really threatening, so. 
that does so much. This is like specially defensive. As he goes for the roost, uh, that's kind of yeah, that's kind of eight. I could just go to Keldeo. Uh, that's actually bad that I paralyzed Tentacruel now because Keldeo can't even knock it off, knock it out. So this might be a stealth rocker. I don't know. I need this, so I'm just gonna go into Keldeo. And if he goes, I could just double switch into double switch into Excadrill after that. So he wants to Obama Snow. I have no problem just clicking Secret Sword. If he wants to switch into Slow King, fine. It's gonna be taking a lot because it's a Slow King and not a Slow Bro. If he wants to switch in Cl Clefable, then fine. I have a they call me Charizard. And if he wants to sack this, by all means. All right, so he does switch in Clef. Um, judging by the damage, this is probably the bolt set, so I have no problems just going back into Charizard. Uh, Charizard just whittling down the team. Kind of, and that, like, that being said, like, he has, like, two counters right here. So this is actually the, uh, this is actually Stealth Rock, so that's good to know that Gliscor doesn't have it. Uh, I could just start firing off Flamethrowers, to be honest. I could also switch into Excadrill here, but I don't feel the need to make that play. I could go for the, uh... Could go for the solar beam play again. Eh. I mean, Obama Snow doesn't really, can't really do much as we saw there. Blizzard did like what, like 40, like 50%? I'm just gonna go for the solar beam play once again. As he stays in and I get to, and I get the knockout on him. So that's amazing for Keldeo. He still has Tentacruel. Honestly, the team matchup was kind of, isn't, was kind of in his favor. Like, uh, he had like two counters to Zardwai and Keldeo. And like, two counters that uh, Tyranitar can't really pursue trap effectively. So he goes back into Tentacruel. I have a couple more sun turns left. Like he can't really do much to me, honestly. Unless he has like Toxic. So I'm gonna gauge how much this uh, Flamethrower does. No harm in it. That doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, it's Toxic Spikes, so. I guess I'll go for Solar Beam here, see if it does more. I have one more sun turn left anyway, so that does a decent amount, but my sun runs out and he gets paralyzed. This thing doesn't have any recovery though, so I'm just gonna keep going for like ancient- I'm just gonna go for ancient power at this point. Yeah, the paralysis is really starting to hurt here, so I get 20- oh, and I get all the boosts! Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, it kind of sucks I'm not in the sun anymore, but I think I can just sweep him from here. <laughs> I can just sweep him because... <laughs> that's honestly that's aids for him but <laughs> excuse my language but like that's so unfortunate I, just, I can just go for roost here because he's probably just gonna go for ice shard for damage <laughs> yep so get a nice roost <laughs> take this uh take this flamethrower and like i said i have ancient power for the stallbreaker Town of Flame. Wait, does Charizard even get Stone Edge? It might. So he forfeits. <laughs> that was a that was a funny game. He has two counters to Zard Y, he still loses to it. So we got another game against uh it's Q Rem. Got a nice balanced team. Another team destroyed by Charizard plus Tyranitar. Uh, like, I guess this thing's kind of annoying, this conk, but that's whatever. Just gonna leave Garchomp and uh, go for Stealth Rocks. I have Focus Ash, so um, Lottie can't be staying on me. And also, uh, Garchomp's a pretty good check to Bisharp, so I definitely want to preserve that. I guess I have Keldeo too, which is like the universal Bisharp counter. So he goes Venusaur, that's fine. Uh, I could just go Charizard here to be honest, but I want to lay up my rocks first just so uh, Latias isn't switching in for free. So he's Mega Venusaur. Goes for Sleep Powder, he misses, so that's really unfortunate. Now that I'm thinking about it though, I'm, I'm okay with sacking this thing to the sleep. As I'm just going to go for Dragon Claw if he wants to go to Talonflame or Latias for some reason. And if this is in, if this thing is like the Stallbreaker Talonflame, then I can just go for Ancient Power and knock it out. So uh, Charles is a fairly obvious play by me. He goes for Giga Drain. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna get the Mega Evolution off. If he wants to go Lottie, I can actually Pursue Trap him there, or I can predict the switch into Conk. Uh, 
Yeah, Zap does nothing. Then again, though, like, Tyranitar is a pretty safe play if he wants to defog. And if he wants to double switch into Kong predicting that, I have Slowbro to tank hits from it, and I get my rocks up still. So he goes for Draco Meteor. I don't agree with that play, because now I get my now my rocks up are, are up to stay, and um, now his Lottie's dead, so he doesn't really have a lot of switch-ins to my Charizard. I mean this thing can't really take uh, this thing can't really take two flamethrowers, and if it doesn't have Rock Slide, it can't actually touch me. So yeah, I'm gonna go for Pursuit, and that's that's pretty much gonna be a snack wrap. Cause yeah, I don't see him winning this at all now. I don't have a reason to really save this per se, but I don't know. Do I? I guess it's nice for Talonflame if it's like SD, and oh, well, if it's SD, it probably knocks me out anyway. In which case, I'll have to rely on on Garchomp. Yeah, I'm just gonna sack a uh, Titar because that way, if I because if I sack Garchomp, then oh, that's amazing for me. I can just go for the superpower here. If he knocks out my Garchomp, then um, Venusaur can put something else to sleep. So I'm just going for Mach Punch here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's fine. I can just go into. I can also just go into Keldeo, fire off. Scalds, and it, you you might think it's bad that I'm like trying to scald this conk, but even if he like stays in, gets the burn, and knocks me out, like that's the worst case scenario. Then uh, Zara just comes in and revenge kill. So I'm just gonna go for the scald, uh, get the burn on Slowbro, which is mainly what I what I wanted for. So he goes back into Venusaur. Do I get the burn? No, I don't. But now it's a free switch into Zard. Like what can this thing do to me? Has yeah, Sleep Powder, Giga Drain. I guess I can go for Sludge Bomb. Could just stay in. Predicting a sludge bomb. And skull two kills from there, but nah, I have no reason to predict that. The thing is, this is valuable for Bisharp still. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in the driller actually, because even if he goes for a Giga Drain, uh, Earthquake knocks it out. Yeah, getting damage on Slowbro is really cool. So he does go for the sludge bomb, so that's amazing for me. I can just get free damage on Slowbro. Um and if he goes to Talonflame, I have Rock Slide for that, so I'm not even worried about it. So I knock out the uh, Venusaur. So that's great, because now I preserve my check to uh, Bisharp. But now he goes into Slowbro. That's honestly not even a problem. I can just go into... I can probably just go into my own Slowbro. Uh, and then go for like the Thunder Wave or the Grass Knot. Oh, it's Calm Mind. Oops. Uh, <laughs> so this is like... Wait, it's not even Mega. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the Thunder Wave, and then I'm gonna go into my back into my Zard. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to mess around with this thing anymore. So, goes for Calm Mind again, but let's see how much this modest Solar Beam does to it. I'm really hoping the paralysis will come through here because this is my win condition. That still does a surprising amount of damage. I'm just gonna go for repeated Solar Beams. Actually, like, after this is weakened, um, Keldeo is probably the win condition. Because, I mean, I still have my check to Talonflame, which is Slowbro. Garchomp can also put in work against that. Actually, like, Slowbro really just puts in work after this thing dies. So, Slowbro is going to be able to knock it out still, just showing the raw power of Charizard. If he wants to go into Talonflame, that's fine. I don't think Conk knocks me out with Mach Punch still. And if he goes Bisharp, I can just Roost. I honestly don't don't lose anything by that. Unless he goes for SD, that's pretty bad. But I still have Keldia for that at full. And I don't lose anything by... Uh, okay, so he goes into, he goes into this. Uh, I, don't, I don't want it setting up SD, so I'm just going to go for the uh, Ancient Power. In case he wants to go for Roost or SD. Or SD. Nah, that's probably my best play, because this thing isn't really useful anymore. Okay, so he does go for the Roost. I get off uh, Ancient Power. So this thing is definitely like some sort of... Um, some sort of SD thing. Or bulk up or something. I'm going to go back into Guard Trump, actually. Because now he knows he can't set up on me. So he's just going to go for Brave Bird and kill himself with the recoil. So Guard Trump being useful while still being asleep. So that's fine. Um, 
he wants to go into conch, that's fine. So yeah, he goes into Bisharp. I honestly want to switch into Keldeo right about now. Like, I lose nothing. Yeah, I lose nothing by just going Keldeo and clicking Secret Sword. Because I don't want to risk not waking up and him setting up a million sword stances. So, yep, there it is. So, Secret Sword just bops it. Bops this. And then... Wow, it gets... Oh, he gets a crit. Of course. Of course he gets a crit, so... But he forfeits because he knows he can't beat my Slowbro with Conk. So, that's going to be the... Uh, is that the third or fourth battle? I don't even know. Yeah, we still only have, we don't even have, we have like 200 coil. Like, it's one of those things where we're just gonna have to do a lot of battles, and I don't think I'm gonna get all of them on screen, just because there's gonna be so many battles I have to do to make this suspect test. I just have to have like a decent win, can, a decent um, GXC, so this is probably gonna be the last battle of this match, and it's against, ironically, Wallace Milotic, so he's on a pretty, ah, I don't know what this is, another anti Zard Y team, because he has a Milotic, and he has a star me and he has a guard shot most of all so i think Kel i want to say keldeo is a decent lead uh, man, i really don't have a lot in this team for bulky water types maybe like a thunderous would be amazing for this team <laughs> like i said i wasn't really thinking when i was putting it together so it's whatever i'm gonna lead keldeo just to not let him get up rocks for free as he goes in the Kiram, so that's even that's even more fantastic for me. Could be Scarf though. I'm gonna go for the safe play, go for Secret Sword. It'll still do a ton to Okay, he just sacks Kiram for no reason. So I don't understand that play. Yeah, I'll definitely have like a better build team for next time just because we're all getting higher up on the ladder. And also the reason I haven't been playing Pokemon Insurgents lately, like I might if I have time. I might uh, try and do so later today. It's because like I still need to grind. I haven't done that yet, so that's pretty bad. And now I'm just gonna go into T-Tar, pursue trap this thing, get this thing on out of here. If it goes for Scald, I guess that's. It goes for. Oh, it's analytic. Ooh, that is really interesting. Interesting indeed. I'm just gonna go into Charizard, Mega Evolve, uh, go for Solar Beam. It hits just about everything on his team except Lucario, and Lucario gets bought by uh, Flame Thrice. He chooses to stay in. Goes for the Hydro Pump. Uh, Charizard is just so bulky it takes that. So now this team is really opened up to Keldeo spamming Secret Sword. So now he might just go Garchomp. I might just stay in because as he goes Lucario, that's honestly fine because I have a. Uh, I could even switch Garchomp and set up my switch into Garchomp and set up my rocks because even if he sets up his rocks, like I have a Spinner, not a Defogger, so that'll be fine. Okay, so that's cool. And if he wants to go Myotic here, I can actually just go for Toxic. So I'm going to be able to get on my rocks here. If he goes for SD here, that's a good play on his part, but I still have slow, bro. So I'm not even afraid of this. He might... Okay, so he stays in and goes for the close combat. So that's a pretty decent play on his part. But now I'm just going to be able to switch in my... Uh... I don't know. This, these things run adamant, don't they? Because I'm kind of afraid of my Exodule not up speeding. Mm, I'm a little bit conflicted. I'm not going to risk it, just go into Keldeo, fire off Secret Sword. I might just sack my my Charizard, because this is probably like a Salt Vest, my champ, so... Actually, I don't know. It'll be good for damage. Yeah, that was probably adamant. That did way too much to Keldeo. Does this thing even have anything to hit, to hit me with? So, that's definitely not his optimal play. I think my champ is a pretty decent play here. Uh, as he sends out Garchomp, he could go for Stealth Rocks here, or he could just go for Earthquake. Uh, kind of 50-50, I don't know. Either way, it's still my favorite because if he goes for Stealth Rocks, I get rid of this thing, and Excadrill and Charizard put in a lot of work. Or I switch into Slowbro, he gets up Rocks, and then I guess whatever, I just fire off Skull from there. I have Grass now for Milotic. It's not going to do a lot, but I'm just going to go for Secret Sword, Predicting Rocks. I think that's my better play. As he's actually Mega Garchomp, so he's just going to take me out with a Dragon Claw. So that's pretty unfortunate. As now I'm basically forced into Slowbro. 
Um, thankfully though, he doesn't have sand up or anything like that. He does. Why are you using Mega Guard Charm? Oh, man, so much confusion. He goes for Swords Dance. Uh, as well, I get the burn here. No, I don't. That's actually kind of scary now because, <laughs> like, okay, he has Dragon Claw, so that's that does so much. Oh my God. I might just have to sack um. <laughs> Driller here. If he brings in, yeah, if he brings in a champ, I'm gonna have to sack drill, and then go into Zard. <laughs> Luckily, Regenerator is gonna come through here. Cause I can beat Milotic, one v one. Wait, why did you go for? Oh my God, bad players! Why did you do that? <laughs> why did you go for Stone? As uh, Dynamic Punch actually doesn't knock it out. As I'm gonna go into Charizard, I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm actually just gonna for, go for the Ancient Power. Wait, he disconnects. <laughs> I wasn't trying to get the boost from Ancient Power, but I still could have lost, depending on what type of Milotic this is. Like Milotic is not a frail Pokemon. Actually, never, never mind. I could have just roosted on it and gone for repeated Solar Beams. If my Sun ran out, I could have just sacked Slowbro or something. And even then, Slowpro could put in work with uh, T-Wave and Grass Knot. But he disconnects. Wait, no, he's... Okay, he's back. And I believe I just went for Ancient Power. <laughs> Watch me get the boost again. Uh, he could just go for BP here for damage, but like... I don't know, there's not much he can do here. Because I can roost on Milotic pretty easily. Unless he's some, like, garbage, competitive... Uh, crap with max special attack and like hydro pump so all he has left is left is milotic i'm gonna go for roost i have four more sun turns so i should have plenty of opportunity to just go for solar beam wait what <laughs> wait wait Wh whoa he has mirror coat <laughs> so i'm gonna go for ancient power that does so much uh I don't know, I'm gonna let my sun run out just cause I don't want to get hit with a mirror coat and I'm gonna, if he has toxic in mirror coat, that's kind of a problem. Like, I'm gonna, I wanna say, I'm gonna go into slow bro, go for T-Wave, and then, holy shit, no, I'm just gonna stall him out of mirror coat, like, I lose nothing from that play. So I'm gonna go for T-Wave here. He can keep going for Miracle all he wants. I think it's only like 16 power points. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> so he goes for Scald. Uh, he doesn't get the burn. So he's not really that lucky. I'm just gonna keep going for uh, Slack Off and then just weaken this with... I'm gonna make him use all of his uh, Mirror Codes. Because I doubt it full he'll be able to knock me out. Like, I don't, need, I don't think Grass Knot's gonna do that much even. So... He goes for the Scald, I'm gonna go for the Grass Knot, just see how much that does. If he gets fully paralyzed here, that's gonna be amazing. Ah, uh, that does zero. That does absolutely zero. If he kills me with Miracle and I leave him at like 60-ish per percent, that's honestly pretty decent for me. As he goes for the Mirror- wait, what? Why am I attracted to him now? What? Oh, he can't be doing this. This is so awful. Actually, I'm just gonna go for Slack Off again, but... Oh wait, if he okay, if he goes for Mirror Code again here, okay, he loses. Never mind, but he went for, for, for a Recover, that was the best play on his part. This is so... this is gonna be so annoying, especially because it has freaking Q Charm. Who runs that?! Who fucking runs that?! I'm so done with this man. Mirror Code and Q Charm on Milotic. As uh, luckily I'm able to break through, uh, as he keeps getting paralyzed, which is honestly not even the best thing for me because I want him to use Mirror Code on me and make him waste those. But he goes for Scowl, doesn't get the burn. Uh, as if he gets paralyzed here, I think I win with a high roll. Because like one of those did like 30%, but I'm immobilized by- <sighs> This is so infuriating. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing most of these battles just off-screen. Uh, whenever I'm nearing, like, uh... 
whenever I hit like maybe like the two like 2500 coil I'll start recording again maybe depending on what my GXE is if it's really good then I can definitely just keep recording that and yeah how many times does he use mirror coat one two I have my phone right here actually I'm gonna go look up how much how many power points it has so Luckily, he hasn't been getting the scald burns, uh, so I'm just gonna go for slack off. God, so lucky, as I get immobilized again! Watch, he's gonna get the burn here, isn't he? He does, what a lucky bastard, man. So I'm just gonna go for... Uh, mirror coats. I don't even think it has that much. Please, Slowbro, you have to come... He, he would get... A skull burn right when I don't need it. So it has 20, max 32. Um, that's not terror. That's not like. That's actually a lot. Fuck. So I definitely want, don't want to sit you all through that. So what I'll probably end up doing is like um, just letting him kill me. Will I go for grass knot? Actually, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go Charizard here. Fuck this. He has Ice Beam too. So what, he's like Ice Beam, Scald, Mirror Coat, Recover? That's so stupid. Another thing I can do is like, uh, go for Ancient Power, get a boost, and then knock him out with a <laughs> Solar Beam. It's more likely, I'll, I'll probably get the boost faster than, see that does so much still. <laughs> I'll probably get the boost from Ancient Power faster than um, him running out of power points. I'm just gonna do that. Especially because he's paralyzed, and like I'm not gonna be able to PowerPoint stall him. And whenever I run out of sun, I can just go back into Slowbro. If he gets like a freeze here, though, that. <sighs> but I'm pretty sure a plus one modest solar beam will knock this thing out. So, and even if it doesn't, Slowbro can just come in after it and uh, go for Grass Knot. Why do I have to play like this? This is. Maybe I shouldn't have sacked uh Excadrill, so am I able to get the boost? No, I'm not. So I'm forced to go back for rooms. I only have four ancient powers left, and it's like a 10% chance. Charizard, you have to come through for me. <laughs> I only have one more sun turn left, so. So he gets paralyzed here. I can just go back into Slowbro, and then back into Zard. That's so dumb. I have to. I'm... Like, I'm tempted to pause it, but we're nearing the end of the battle anyway, so I don't really see the point in uh, pausing it and then coming back when we're done with this bullshit, because that's what it is, it's bullshit. Alright, so he goes for, what do you go for, a mirror code again. Okay, that's not bad, because he's wasting power points. And I'll just be able to go for another ancient power. If I get the boost here, then uh, he lost. Because I'm... I don't know, this thing could be like calm. I don't know, the way judging by the damage from Grass Knot, it doesn't really I got a crit. That's that's actually not good for me. So I'm forced to roost here. Probably twice now because I got the crit. I got the crit, but I don't get the uh, the boost. Uh so it gets paralyzed. So I only have three more ancient powers and I have to get it like this time or else it's useless. Um, if I get it this time, it's kind of useless because Sun runs out the next turn, so I'm just gonna go back into Slowbro and then back into Zard. Yeah, Sun runs out this turn. He gets paralyzed again, pretty unfortunate. But I can just go back into Zard and try this again. Goes for Ice Beam. Not, not gonna matter too much. But I can just go for the Roost. Like, as soon as I get my Ancient Power boost, like... I wish Ancient Power had more than 8 power points. I only have 2 left. If I don't get it on, the, on these next 2, then I have to power point stall him, and I'll probably just pause. Alright, I get the boost! Finally! I still kind of want to calc, though, because... Nah, no, fuck it. Because if I even if I don't kill him here, then... Um, Slowbro will kill him after it. And he has to go for mirror code or else he just loses, so... Finally! Oh my god! That was so much more stressful than it needed to be. This guy's... 
I guess this, I don't, I don't want to be rude, but for all the bullshit this guy put me through, <laughs> it's garbage. That's what it is. With my name, too, basically. Even though I don't actually use my Lytic. <laughs> so we're at like 354 coil. Uh, we'll probably do another episode for a different team once I get to around like a thousand, a thousand five hundred. So that's gonna be it. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe.